Welcome to Future Solves headquarters. And today we're going to talk about performance index. And normally our performance index presentation is designed to present to a customer. And it's about 30 to 40 minutes of talk and or you know 20 to 30 minutes worth of questions. I'm going to try to do this in a vignette here today that gives you a good understanding of what we want to accomplish uh, and gives you an idea of what the capability is. Every job I started, I didn't do audits, I did a performance index. And at the macro level, there's five things you do when you start a job or you examine a function when you're entering it. So our methodology really fits in that. The five stages are first to learn the business when you start a job, two to gauge expectations. How are you successful if you don't know what the expectations are? Three, to size up the team. Four, to line up outside resources. And five, to build a strategy. Younger in my career, I would take six months to do this very thorough. We didn't have technology tools. I actually learned how to do this in 60 to 90 days very quickly and effectively. There's really three verticals to uh, conducting an index analysis. And they are in this order because they build on each other's in a sense. The first one is discovery. Second one is diagnostics. And then the third very important one is delivery. First of all, what uh, is involved in conducting discovery? There are really at least eight steps. Executive interviews, a review of documentation, metrics driven overview for the human resource function, you know, leadership and management surveys, you know, that can coincide with the executive surveys. We would also have associate surveys, and again, it's a sample and survey the HR team to include the team management. The seventh step would be conducting day in a life of a human resources director, manager, associate. And then we would have a mystery shopper, you know, that would be online self-service examinations, uh, more of a confidential nature. All of these would be designed to determine HR's effectiveness. So that's briefly the discovery model. Now let's move in now from discovery to diagnostics. We inter introduce some new concepts and some new processes, but we also take some things from discovery and peel that onion back a little bit further. So what's involved in the diagnostic vertical? It really starts with assessing the human resource team. That helps to determine the maturity of the function. We're conducting benchmarking of the human resources as well, and prioritizing possible remedial actions. And we're assessing human resource performance drivers, identifying key, key drivers that are in the function and key drivers that are missing to ensure improvement of the function. Does the function have the proper structure? You know, how about compensation? We'll do a deep dive in comp analysis and benchmark it a budget analysis, again, benchmarked, and is it realistic once we determine what needs to be done with the function. Uh, performance measures, the size of the function and the focus, the human resource key leaders, uh, their effectiveness, and how well do they impact the organization, and, you know, any outside resources. Uh, like a lot of functions, people hang on to outsourced capabilities that really aren't revel uh, relevant and contemporary. The bottom line is, is the function more inside out thinking or more outside in thinking? So that's a quick overview of the diagnostics. Now let's shift to the ever important delivery. 
And this is where we sit down with the leadership team, with the CEO, with the HR function. And frankly, it's pretty straightforward and simple. In presenting the findings, we want to look at capturing the current state. We want to show the end state possibilities, make recommendations, and quantify the impact. This is all with an emphasis on results and productivity and you know any HR technology gaps to improve the function. Now, how do we show the gaps? Moving from staffing to the current state, which is talent acquisition. Talent acquisition was about process, time to hire, orientation programs. That's kind of the current state. The future state moves to quality hires, retention improvements, onboarding effectiveness, and on and on. I've just listed a couple to give you the flow. You know, it used to be back in the day, affirmative action, then it moved to diversity, and now it's all about inclusion. Pay and benefits moved to total compensation, and now it's total rewards. And I think total rewards is gonna be more than pay and benefits. It's gonna be about growth and development and appreciation of people in our companies. So how do we show the gaps? You can see on the far side, the impact, and we would show the effectiveness organizationally and the bottom line dollar impact that they could do by taking our suggestions moving forward. Another feature that we would add to the delivery component would be two by two matrix, if you will. It's one on the uh, Y axis that shows performance. And then back on the X axis or the horizontal axis, we have stages of effectiveness in a company. Back in the day, it started with just data that you'd try to use to make some decisions, but it was not real effective. Eventually, we turned that data into information. And information, that was a huge improvement, but it didn't really optimize your decision making. So moving from information to knowledge, knowledge to capability, and capability to results is where you'd like to be at the end of the day. What we're demonstrating here, and most of the findings that I've found, that Ken found, others on the call, Jim, Ed, Bill, Tony, I think you'd pretty much agree, a lot of the function is kind of operating in that information uh, kind of area, more so than getting up to the knowledge area. So what we wanna do is show how taking our suggestions will move the function from where they are, if they're in the information category or the data and information category from information to knowledge or knowledge to capability, show the time frame that it would take, and generally it's six months to a year to get a good base just to bring it from the information to the, cap uh, to the knowledge stage, and then a plan of how you get from knowledge to capability to results. Hopefully, the short discussion today will give you an idea of what performance index is, It'll give you an idea of the methodology that can be presented and talked about, and that we do have some really great IP behind those that help you execute some of these tactical approaches, which give you more of a holistic view towards that strategy that's so important of moving the company forward in a change management process. Thanks for your time, and Andy, I'll turn it back over to you on the call. Thank you, Dave. And we wanted to thank you all for, for joining us for this, uh, this uh, uh, video and conversation about the Performance Index, which is a product and service that uh, FutureSol provides. The unique thing about the Performance Index is we utilize strategic advisory services and experts like Dave that I have with me today, along with um, innovative artificial intelligence, people analytics platforms to forecast and highlight areas of what is uh, working within the organization and what may need uh, some assistance. And then addressing gaps, as well as doing something we call modeling, which is where we could change factors before we implement them within an organization to see what the effect is from a long-term perspective 
into the future. And we use artificial intelligence to forecast what the future looks like based on those areas. So in summary, as we could utilize all of the different steps that Dave went through today uh, about the performance index and import all of this data into our artificial intelligence platform that will help uh, highlight what the different uh, data points look like, uh, some gaps, and also uh, we can uh, implement some strategy using the modeling in the platform that will forecast into the future what those impact or what that impact could be for organizations. Thank you for joining today and please reach out to us if you have any questions and we're happy to uh, dive deeper into conversation. Thank you very much. Thank you.